often get asked a lot about starting a career in the entertainment industry, whether it's Broadway or singing or even television and film. And the answers I used to give are very different from the answers that I give now because I've been doing it for so long. And one of the things you have to remember is the power of being in an environment versus looking in an environment from the outside. What do I mean from that? I talk about people asking me, should I go to college and get a degree? Should I get a degree in theater or in performance or in music or in art? And the question I always ask them is, what is your goal? And we talk Broadway, for example, we wanna be on Broadway. When you look at a four-year program and you're thinking about the amount of time and money that you're gonna spend on a four-year program, average is about $220,000 for a four-year program. And that's not including the ancillary stuff. You come out of that four-year program and you've got a degree a degree in theater, a degree in music. So you're starting your career, usually with some debt. The average person has at least $30,000 worth of debt from all the research that I've done. So you're starting your career already in debt and you've got a degree. Now take somebody who didn't go to university and went right to New York or right to Los Angeles. They don't have that debt they're able to study with the top teachers in the world. They're able to get right into the program, right into being around and in the industry in which they wanna work. They can take the money that you spent on your college degree and put it to work investing in themselves. So I want you to think about your life as an artist, as a business. You're an entrepreneur, you're creating a brand and you are your brand. So just like you would invest in a business, you're gonna invest in yourself. Not only that, those people that started and went directly to New York, Los Angeles, Miami, wherever you wanna go, Atlanta, they're four years ahead of you. They've got a four year head start on you in the business in which you wanna work your trade. So what's the advantage there? Well, the advantage there is that they know the city, they know people, they've met people, they've worked in and around the industry so much that they've created relationships. And relationships are huge. The casting directors may know them by then, right? It's gonna take a while for a casting director or a producer to know who you are, to get to trust you. So if you're gonna wait four years, do you see the advantages and disadvantages? Now, the advantage is now, I'm, I'm just to, to be clear, the caveat is I went to university, right? I have an undergraduate degree. When I got to New York, there were already people that were ahead of me, my age, younger than me, who had been there before me. The caveat here is that if you're going to a school that has what would be called a mafia, some sort of mafia that is connected into the inner workings, a Juilliard, you know, an NYU Tisch. Um, but even that, there's no guarantees. I know people that went to the Yale MFA program that ended up giving up the business within a year. So it's what you're gonna do with it, right? How are you going to ply your trade? And what is the best part about plying your trade? It's the doing this, right? I learned more from being on stage and doing than I did sitting in a class. So I need to ask yourself that. What is the purpose? What is the goal? What do you wanna do? And how do you wanna do it? That's my thought about going to university. Hope you enjoy it. Everybody's questions are their own. Everybody's journey is their own. And uh, you're gonna have to make that decision on your own because it's your life.